Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese. Always Got a little bit of a different intro for the video today. I wanted to point out a comment that was in my comments recently. Uh, they really got me thinking. It was the, the point of his comment was he I thinks I should focus on less playbooks, more quality over quantity. I try to touch as many playbooks as possible, uh, but ultimately I think he's right. It kind of struck a chord, and uh, it's kind of struck a chord with something that I've been thinking about doing uh, recently anyway, which is less playbooks on my website, but more importantly, less videos. So basically what I'm going to try to do is make more videos like today, uh, special announcement. I'm going to try to do uh, more entertaining videos with my tips and with my plays, and I'm pretty much going to try to do them all in gameplay. So what that means as far as my channel goes is I probably won't have daily videos anymore. I'll probably have videos every other day uh, from now on, from this point on, going until the end of the season. And the reason I'm using this intro and this comment to highlight that is because I just want to let you guys know how important your comments are to me, how, how important your feedback is to me. I asked him for some more feedback about it. He never responded, but that's fine. Ultimately, that's not, that doesn't really matter. But in this particular video, like I said, I'm going to try to make more videos like the gameplay video I'm going to do today where I'm going to break down the plays that I use in the gameplay as well as uh, if I have to I will even go in the middle of the gameplay into a practice mode to elaborate further so if you want to see videos like this in the future uh, do me a favor let me know in the comment section what you think uh, hit the like button if you like this setup or um, you know you just let me know like I said I, I really rely on you guys to give me feedback uh, and it's it's really important the success of this channel so please do that in today's video now the topic of this video is all about defense I'm going to show you guys how you can essentially read your opponent like a book and pretty much know what you're opponents going to do uh, based off of their tendencies. I'm trying to put out a lot of defense tip videos because I know there's a lot of people out there that can't play defense necessarily like they might see in my channel. Sure, blitzes and money plays all have their part, uh, but there are some things that you can do um, to essentially, uh, you know, basically read your opponent's mind, know exactly what your opponent's going to do, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about later in this vid. Uh, before I get into the video, though, I just want to let you guys know that as far as updated ebooks go, I've got about 10 of them done, so if you are looking for an updated ebook, Saints especially updated um, go to my site email me from the website uh, you know the, uh, the email site on my website madmoneyshot.com all of my ebooks you get updated for free as they get updated throughout the year so at any point in time you buy an ebook you're always welcome to a free update you just got to email me once they're done so make sure you check that out other than that, on the offensive side here, I'm probably going to focus on the Saints playbook this week. This is a formation uh, that I'm trying to uh, perfect uh, in some gameplay. Um, early on here, it doesn't have the most success, but I promise you this is a very consistent formation uh, that you will see some gameplay coming out here pretty soon. As I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to focus on a different playbook every week uh, in my gameplay and try to uh, try to flush out uh, some of the schemes. I'm not going to stick with the Saints all the time. Even though it's my favorite playbook, I can't stick in one playbook uh, and make this work. So so as this video is going on, as I find uh, plays that work and that are very successful, I'm going to break them down, including a pass, uh, passing formation I'm about to show you. So as that ball sails out of bounds, I get myself into a third and nine. And this guy's been running a lot of cover three. So I'm trying to make this formation, I'm trying to make this video about this formation as I'm going to really feature it over the next couple series of videos. Uh, but ultimately, I know that he's running a lot of cover three, so we're going to score a touchdown here. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to pick one of my favorite plays out of the Pistol Bunch TE, and that play itself is the verticals play. Uh, for whatever reason, a lot of people uh, just really seem to be forgetting about this play. When I was running this play a couple of weeks back, it seemed like everybody knew it now it feels it seems like everybody's forgetting how how explosive and how dominant this is so we're gonna go we're gonna set this up the only real setup is simple all you gotta do is put the wire out here on a streak and that's pretty much it now after that i'm pretty much looking at the middle the safety in the middle of the field now the, the depth that he's at is pretty good i could run the play just like that but if i motion this running back over it just opens that space up even wider so you can see one little motion completely opens up the defense the only thing i can stop this play now is the user so that's the only thing i'm watching is shay's ear does he drop back Nope. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> he could go all the way! So as you can see right there, he did not drop back. He did not drop into the lane. I actually threw the ball a little bit earlier than I wanted to, as I probably could have waited and had even more space on the throw. But you can see how easy of a play that is. Uh, so ultimately, as far as the motion goes... Um, if you if you you know run that too many times, the motion sometimes can give it away. But since this is early on in the game and he hasn't seen the play yet, obviously he's not going to know what's coming based off of that motion. So I definitely took advantage of it. 
So on the defensive side, which is pretty much what this video is about anyway, uh, starting off my opponent here on the very first play, he comes out in a two-back system and hits it to his running back, Le'Veon Bell. Now, early on in the game, just like when I was on offense, you really don't know what your opponent likes to do. Okay, Ultimately, you're figuring out their tendencies. You're figuring out what they like to do as the game goes on. Very next play, comes out in that same two-back system, and sure enough, he's pretty much staring down this running back. That was the second play in a row where he passed it to Le'Veon Bell. I'm sure Le'Veon Bell is a, is a great playmaker for him, uh, but at some point, you start to realize that that's what this guy likes to do. He's pretty much just featuring his backs. So very next play, he's had success the both first time, so why would wouldn't he continue to do that? He's going to go ahead. He's going to go right back to Le'Veon Bell. I'm using all over it, but I haven't learned yet that that's, exa that's the only thing he likes to do. And then you can see right there, I try to jump it, and I didn't get an animation at all. He just basically takes it to the house on me. But three straight plays, all three of them going to Le'Veon Bell. So I pretty much have to keep that in my memory that that might be this guy's offense. So on the other side of the field, back on offense, very short defensive series. Uh, but like I said, these series are all about learning. Right here, I ran. he's doing the same thing. I ran plays like this early on. Uh, where I was throwing to the fullback in the first series, and he's now hard flatting to try to take that away. So, you know, this game is a learning game. That's really what I enjoy about Madden. It's a mental game. This game is like playing chess. It's not really, you know, a lot of people think it's it's all about who's a better user or a better, I mean, these things, have, they play their part, but it's really, you win this game by uh, by memory, by learning your opponent, uh, and ultimately by knowing, uh, knowing what you're looking at in the game. So here in the next series, I'm still running a lot of cover three, third and 14. I'm going to go to the gun bunch. I'm going to go to one more of my home run plays. I'm going to switch it up a little bit and go to the mesh the mesh is a very good cover through home one play as well and I ultimately don't want to show him the exact same look that I just showed him. So I'm going to show him a different one entirely. All I really have to do to set this up is put the RB route in a streak. That's the most important one. Other than that, I have to watch the safeties and the corners. Now, they're both in what looks like a cover two shell. So I'm going to run this play as is anyway because I have a feeling it could still be cover three. I just have to make a motion where I motion out this running back. There's a couple different ways to do this. Motioning out this running back, putting him on a streak is going to give me the look that I want. I give myself a check down with the X route, and then that's pretty much all I need. So now all I have to do is watch how that safety over the RB out route reacts. If he drops down like he does right here, I got a home run. Break yourself, fool! He could go all the way! So two explosive cover three one play touchdowns, both of which I've already put out this year. And both of which I'll try to put the breakdown in the description so you guys can check that out. On the very next series on defense, I picked the play before I even waited for him to pick an offensive play. Because of the success he had running out of that two-back system, I just figured that's what he was going to run you know, pretty much the entire game. So i got to be a little bit better than that. On the very next play, I make sure that I wait to see the personnel. That's very important. Wait to see the personnel which your opponent is running. He's running a two-running back system, so he's probably in an eye form again. So we're going to go to one of my favorite new base defenses out of the 3-4 even. Uh, this here, I just put this out as well this is a great base defense as well as a great blitz you're going to see get pressure in this video uh it's the olb strike two out of the three four even an outstanding play we're going to get a lot of pressure here as well we're going to shut this guy's offense down now like i said i pretty much already diagnosed that this guy is going to basically run his entire offense through his running back whether that means right here he's throwing to his running back again running through his running back that seems to be his offense that seems to be his best playmaker is Le'Veon bell uh he really believes him and that really means a couple of things if your opponent likes to utilize the running backs in this nature it lets you know that they're more than likely uh most comfortable throwing short because running backs don't run deep routes so not only is do i have to take it that he likes going to his back i have to take it that he likes going to short routes he's going to dink and dunk me to death as you can see right on that last play that i made sure to get in front of that drag route if people don't show you that they're willing to threaten deep you can pretty much guarantee that all their throws are going to be short so at this point the the spot on the field that he's throwing to is short constantly short within five yards behind the line of scrimmage i know that's where he likes to throw the ball so in this very next play not only does that dictate what he's going to do but the situation dictates what he's going to do and you can see right there he throws it to a double drag on fourth and three so that's a really easy way to read your opponent so not only do you want to you know pay attention to who your opponent's throwing to but you want to pay attention to what portion of the field they're throwing to like me if you're playing against me you're more than likely going to realize that i like to throw deep if you watch the plays that i'm doing i mean plays like this i'm kind of just setting them up as you can see right here i actually almost get tackled for a loss um but i'm almost just setting my opponent up a lot of people play smart they'll run the ball a couple different times get your opponent to suck in a little bit and then try to hit you over the top that's a very good method but ultimately um, you can always pick up on patterns that people like to do so right now the pattern that i'm running 
is I like to throw deep. I'm coming out in these type of formations, even here. I mean, I'm going to throw short here, but he's playing the safety right now because he's seen me throw deep a couple different times. So I got him thinking deep ball, hit him with a nice underneath underneath pass, and I'm basically keeping him off balance. So these defensive tips that I put out, they work in multiple ways. You can see right here, it's also working on the offensive side. I'm also playing situational football as well. I'm in no real hurry here to score. I mean, I got the ball up a touchdown. Uh, I just want to kill as much clock as possible as well. So situational football can really dictate. So the biggest predictor, number one, is definitely tendencies. The second biggest predictor to know what your opponent is going to do is the situation. So if I was on defense right now, I would notice that my opponent is not really in a hurry um, to score. I would be looking at the clock. I'd be knowing what they're doing. Uh, the very next play, though, I make a mistake. I hit the wrong button. I was trying to hit the X route, take the drag, and I accidentally hit the, uh, I don't even know what button that was, but that was not on purpose. I would typically not throw the ball into a crowd of four and try to monster. That's not really my game. You don't typically see me doing that. Uh, so just a mistake i turned the ball over no big deal uh going right back to my favorite defense though going back to that lb strike two and uh, he's going back to his his uh two receiver or his two running back set so here the setup this on this defense which i really didn't go over too much before is really simple you just have to qb contain uh which is lb rb and then you have to decide which one of these hook zones to bring down over the center now there's a receiver two receivers on the right side so i'm going to leave that vert hook right in front of that receiver to cover that and then i'm going to cover the other one which is not in front of a receiver down over the center now it's going to be my job once again to cover that running back which he's been using quite a bit uh, a couple different guys in the same area so i just kind of bump them off and work that area and we get a sack like i said you're going to see in my gameplay this has become my new favorite base defense it gets crazy pressure stops the run really well um, it's just become one of my new favorite base defenses the very next play i'm going to do the exact same thing this will work up to a three wide receiver set as you can see he's in a three wide receiver set and i know ultimately he's just trying to work Le'Veon Bell. I mean, he's got the X factor. That's kind of the plan. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to drop back. User Le'Veon Bell. He's pretty much running the exact same routes. You can see right here, if we reverse this... The reason that play worked is because I abandoned my assignment and I doubled the running back because that's pretty much where he's been going. So he didn't want to throw it because I got him on a pick a couple different times, but he had a receiver wide open, but he's just so clued in on that running back and that particular route that he's been hitting so much that it's to the point where that's pretty much becoming uh, his offense. He's really become too predictable now. So here we go, third and 26. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get this defense working. This is a quarters blitz, uh, which I have some success from time to time. Uh, here he, he just blocks that everybody and gets it off though he almost mosses you see right there i mean he makes that play mosses my defender uh and that's going to be enough for him to go for it which is a mistake if he would have been better off if he would have just um you know missed it and then punted it from here but he's going to go for it now because he's only in fourth and six who knows he might have gone for it before that too because a lot of people in this game just go for ridiculous situations so fourth and six I know that the running back could probably get a first down here, so that's going to be my first read, and then the situation is going to be my second. So the running back does not go out on a route. Gotcha, bitch. I basically just work my way back into the middle, and sure enough, we get a pick. So we're going to the house. I don't know what type of tackle attempt he was trying to make. I mean, he's using the lineman. Maybe the lineman just couldn't get it done. Uh, but we're going to pick six. I mean, that's going to be game, I and mean, my opponent here is going to quit out, uh, which you see quite a bit in my gameplays as well as online, period. And uh, we're going to win this game 20-7, to 7, as you can see right there. So that's, that's the video. Like I said, if you guys like this type of video make sure to hit the like button and let me know in the comment section this is something that i'd like to do more of these they take a little bit more time but that would really be the game plan so if you want to see more of these videos hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below